Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Fonts of the Month. This is the fifth episode, and unfortunately, it will be the last one, because they're difficult to make, and they're not getting that many views. But this one, this last one, is going to be great. So, I thought this time, because I couldn't really find any font this month, I haven't been making much... I would take some viewer-submitted fonts from my Discord server. So the first font is bad script, and uh, yes, I dis I disagree. This is a this is a good script. The font is called bad script, but it's a misnomer because I like this font. It has some very nice curves, very nice curves like this F here. It's very satisfying. Um, yeah. I would use this. Next, homemade apple. Now this is a bit different than the first one. Well, it's still cursive, but I mean the the letters. It, it looks like you got a stick and you drew in the mud. In the mud, it's disgusting. Next, home, homenage. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Homenage. Um, it looks like a pretty uh, normal font. Maybe a bit thin with like thick up and down lines and if they all the same length maybe um i would use that i don't i don't think so it's it's a it's a good font it's okay uh imbue it looks like the f one we just looked at but thinner oh, there's lots of it holy moly you can have really thick or you can have really thin yeah, so like the previous one, I'd say, you know what, actually this one, I think I like this one better than the previous one. This one is better. I might actually download that. There we go. Yeah. Just download that. And finally, we have Riffic. Um, and uh, this one, it's very thick. Very thick. Uh, very epic. Would I use this? Do I like it? I don't know. It's the the letters. They kind of some of them, you know, like the V here is looking kind of tilted to the side, and that annoys me. But I think this would be good for like YouTube thumbnails. Maybe it probably is used for YouTube thumbnails. Um. So yeah, let me just download that. Oh, also I find it uh, funny that it says. It's free for personal and commercial use, though it has a greatly limited character set. Even though it's good, all the capital letters, all the lowercase letters, numbers, and lots of symbols and brackets and all the accented characters. So I don't know what they're talking about. It even comes with broken carriage characters that don't render. You know, it's great. So yeah, this concludes fonts of the month, the entire series. I hope you liked it, and goodbye.